This week, the FBI arrested a man on terrorism charges. He is accused, it turns out, of helping ISIS. So why are we paying attention to this story here at KGW? Well, because the guy is from Troutdale. Here's Kyla Boshi. Federal prosecutors claim Hawazin Mothafar spent years helping the terrorist organization ISIS produce and distribute propaganda. The Troutdale man was indicted on federal terrorism charges. This is somewhat of a new facet of the Islamic State's global network of their supporters and how they're expected to play a role in the organization. Bennett Clifford, co-author of the soon-to-be-released book Homegrown ISIS in America, says the Oregon case highlights how the Islamic State is now looking to crowdsource its media operations. Mothafar, who is confined to a wheelchair, allegedly coordinated with operatives overseas to help create ISIS propaganda and recruiting material on social media. He also helped publish 32 issues of a pro-ISIS newspaper, according to a federal indictment. It's interesting that, you know, in this new environment related to terrorist groups, he was able to find himself a role solely by broadcasting, uh, you know, this propaganda online, which didn't require any physical action. Court records allege Mothafar, a legal permanent resident, provided technical support to ISIS officials, including help opening social media and email accounts and moderating private chat rooms. Prosecutors say the 31-year-old also reached out to competing Islamic groups. And what the FBI calls it is buffet table extremism. It's when uh, extremist actors cherry pick different parts of extremist ideologies to justify their overall worldview. Mothafar could not be reached for comment. He's pleading not guilty and was released from custody while awaiting trial. If convicted, the Troutdale man could face 35 years in prison. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.